All right, here we are out in the desert of Wadi Rum. I want to talk for a minute about coactive policing. Imagine for a moment that your jurisdiction, just for illustration purposes, is a vehicle, like a passenger car. And right here represents your current location, where you are as a community. And down the road somewhere, we've painted a picture of where we would like to see your community at some point in the future. We have it so it's more, it's more peaceable, it's less crime, people get along better, it's more prosperous. Paint as rosy a picture as you would like. This is where you are today, this is where you would like to be in the future. Now imagine your community as being represented by a passenger car. Now what do we know about passenger cars? They have one drive wheel. One wheel drives that vehicle forward uh, and the other three are just sort of along for the ride. Well that one wheel represents you. It represents law enforcement and local government. And law enforcement and local government can move a community forward very effectively as long as the roadway is nice and smooth and well, well maintained. But what happens when that roadbed begins to crumble? What happens when we find our communities bogged down in the muck and the mire of lawlessness, neighborhood decay, family instability, and a myriad of other social problems? Then it becomes time to engage the four-wheel drive. We've got to have all four wheels pulling in the same direction. And those other three wheels represent the rest of your community. They represent the business community, the education community, the faith-based community, the citizens themselves. And if we can figure out a way to get them all pulling in the same direction, we can go through some really rough terrain like we did coming down the side of the sand dune a few moments ago with Collide, our, our, our Jeep driver. But here's the point. When I shift a vehicle into four-wheel drive, something happens mechanically. There's some gears that engage in the transfer case. And it is the relationship between those gears that allows power from the engine to be transferred to the front wheels so they can start to pull their share of the load. That's the power of coactivity. That's the power of relationships. It takes us right back to our fundamental coactive maxim. The power for effective change rests within our relationships. And once we learn how to engage that four-wheel drive policing, we'll see ourselves rise up out of that muck and mire and move on down the road to accomplishing the goals that we have set for our community.